We continue with preparations for APEC in Papua New Guinea in 2018. The next 12 months are critical for stakeholders in the operations order and security to meet their respective objectives. The Chief Secretary to Government, Ambassador Isaac Lupari, has an overarching role in the preparations. Uh, this is the team uh, that uh, will be able to um, uh, plan and put in the security and safety measures and operational plan for the APEC uh, 18 meeting. Huh? This morning we've uh, launched a very important uh, uh, order, operational order. Uh, it's a very comprehensive uh, document that's been um, prepared by the Committee on Safety and Security, a committee that was established uh, by the National Executive Council to undertake uh, planning and uh, put in place a, a security and safety operation plan uh, for the 2018 APEC leaders meeting in Port Mosby. And today, this morning, that order has been launched by myself, supported by the key agencies that make up uh, the Committee on Safety and Security. I can say that I am uh, very pleased and encouraged with the, with the plan, with the order, because that document clearly outlined what we must do within the next 12 months to prepare for 2018 APEC Leaders Meeting in Port Moresby. It clearly outlines the tasks that need to be performed or undertaken by uh, all the government agencies that are part of this uh, committee. The committee is made up of all the disciplinary uh, uh, agencies of uh, the state, including foreign affairs, defense, health, NAKIA, um, also the, the from the Civil Aviation Authority, right down to uh, even the provinces. So what we have seen today is a product of uh, work that's been done over the last two years. A very comprehensive operational order. And the work that went in is not a collaboration of hard work undertaken by these agencies. And of course with the support of our bilateral partners, uh, Australia, New Zealand, US, Indonesia, uh, to the extent uh, Mal uh, Malaysian government. So working with them is very important for us as well because uh, of uh, their experience in hosting uh, APIC leaders meeting in the past. So they bring a wealth of experience and knowledge and also to provide the support that we need and our agency of government need to uh, making sure that uh, the security environment is, is in place for, uh, for the conduct of the APEC leaders meeting. Papua New Guinea joined uh, APEC in uh, 1993 and has been a very uh, prominent member of the APEC community. And APEC community, uh, APEC, uh, community is made up of 21, 20, 20 economies, very advanced economies uh, in the world. We're talking about economies like uh, countries like uh, US, China, Russia. You know, these are very big uh, economies. Japan, Singapore. So PNG being part of this, uh, this uh, APEC uh, community, it places PNG in a very strategic position in terms of uh, our collaboration, uh, promoting economic agenda, cooperation with this economy, and to be able to uh, draw on uh, 
the economies of these countries, the opportunities that are presented by these economies in our collaboration with these uh, 21 member countries to support our own economic agenda. Uh, 2018, uh, we've never organized, uh, we've never had this meeting. Uh, this is the first time uh, Papua New Guinea will be hosting the leaders' meeting. So, as many commentators have uh, described, this is going to be the event of the century. Because uh, 2018, come 2018, the world will focus on Papua New Guinea because uh, the world leaders of these great nations will be coming to our show. You know, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for Papua New Guinea to, to, to showcase who we are, our culture, the diversity in our culture, and what Papua New Guinea is all about. I say this because often uh, a lot of people in the world don't know where Papua New Guinea is. <coughs> often they think that we're in the African continent. And sometimes you have to explain where Papua New Guinea is. And uh, this event alone, when the world leaders are here, the whole world will focus on Papua New Guinea. And it's a great opportunity that we will showcase Papua New Guinea, who we are. At the same time, this will open up a window of opportunity, greater opportunity for Papua New Guinea in terms of trade, in terms of relationship with this economy, because leaders will come on our soil and uh, they will know the potential this country has and what we can do. And thirdly, for me, it will place Papua New Guinea in a very, uh, in its place in the world community. Because we live in a uh, global community that is getting smaller. And we depend on uh, global trade, economic corporations, for uh, pursuance of our economic agenda and development objectives. So this would lift Papua New Guinea's profile in 2018 that Papua New Guinea is an emerging economy in this part of the world, an economy that needs to be respected, an economy that uh, the 20 other economies know that, uh, uh, know that uh, it offers a lot of uh, opportunities for those economies and us. And, uh, and this is why I am uh, particularly pleased today that the committee is chaired by the Commissioner for Police Secretary for Defense, and made up of very important stakeholders that put together this security and safety operational plan. This will give confidence. This will give confidence. And having chatted with uh, some of the representatives from uh, our bilateral uh, friends who are here today, they are quite uh, encouraged, very encouraged, not quite, but very encouraged with the plan that has been put in place. Because they have to go back and report to their headquarters and their own respective country. And for us to demonstrate that our preparedness gives that confidence to these people. That 2018, Papua New Guinea is ready to uh, host the 2018 uh, World Leaders Meeting in Port Moresby. So I'm very encouraged uh, that they are also encouraged with, uh, with the plan that is uh, put in place. I must, on behalf of the government, uh, you know, thank our team, headed by the Commissioner of Police, Secretary for Defense, for the work that they have done. Having said that, the challenge for us to now meet those timelines making sure those activities that are to be taken by each of the agencies within the next 12 months <coughs> is very important. And that is why my office will give them the full support to making sure that they carry out their responsibility. I have said to my colleagues here today, that if there is one slippage of a task that they need to undertake, that will affect the entire program. So it's incumbent upon all of us 
that we work together as a team to making sure that this event of the century, the one that will bring P PNG to the world stage, we need to work together to make it happen. And I have a lot of confidence with the committee, the setup, and I'm assuring them every support that the Office of the Chief Secretaries will provide to making sure that the tasks that are underlining this document is uh, accomplished within the time frame that has been set. People in government, all levels of government, you know, this event uh, is very important for this country. And uh, we, they need the support, we need the support, everybody needs the support. I'm also encouraging the people, our uh, people of Papua New Guinea. You know, uh, we need to take, be responsible, take ownership of some of the issues that we face today. Because we live in a global community. We depend on world trade, economic corporations to better our life. And uh, this event might not happen for the next 20, 30 years. So once a lifetime for many of us, this generation, is to see the President of the United States, whoever it's going to be, the President of Russia, the President of China, the Prime Minister of Japan, and Prime Ministers and Presidents of the 21 members country will be coming to PNG, landing in Port Mosby. You know, it will be a real privilege for all of us uh, that these world great leaders, uh, once in a lifetime, will be in PNG. So my uh, pledge to everyone is to work together. Chief Secretary's <coughs> Office is ready to support this team. And I'm also asking the media that uh, we need to keep promoting this meeting. I need your support. We need to get it out to our community, get it out to our people that we have this big meeting coming in. And it's, we need to really, our people, in their own way, they have to give us support to making sure that it, this event does take place in 2018. The Chief Secretary to Government, Ambassador Isaac Lupari. This has been PNG Tonight. Thank you for watching. We'll have for you another edition at the same time tomorrow. I'm John Eggins. Good night.